Alrighty guys, we're hopping into a Nebraska classic. Fumu versus Sky Raisin, Decidueye and Machamp. So, it's, I hear this matchup go so like, back and forth on who it's in favor for. Last time I heard, I think it's in Machamp's favor. Don't take my word for it, however. Um, however, player matchup wise, I believe Sky Raisin has a pretty positive record against Fumu. Fumu just has, is, Machamp is really one of um, Fumu's just personal demons. And it's a character he can really, really struggle against. And Sky Raisin, very, very skilled Machamp, as we all know. Man! And there's the submission to start things off just in the only way Machamp can. Imagine that um, Fumu is running Emolga. Something that, um. So, one main thing about Emolga is that you can just pop it if you ever just. Um, just go ahead and just raw bulked up. You can just go ahead and pop the mole, get no punish. Ooh, I like the idea with the soccer punch. It just didn't quite work out against the multi hit. Alright, so now we're able to combo off of the Emolga for some decent damage and a reset opportunity. Oh man, another submission, however, for not containing with the uh, 6x. Now you can see with that speed debuff, Skyrim has very has very very um little movement but that was a very interesting interaction i fumu had just such a perfect idea but it was just a little bit off i really wish that would have worked that would have crit acrobatic that would have been crazy okay so we're gonna have a rotten mold pop there fumu really making good use of his um Charge wise. Oh, a reset opportunity with the acrobatic. Oh, not able to combo off of it, unfortunately. Ooh, okay, here comes a combo off of the last hit of 6x. Oh, and not able to finish it. The race will be. I think we gotta go and go into his burst as well. Skyrim is trying to get a person with his submissions. Oh, and an acrobatics worked out in Fumu's favor for a reset opportunity. The waste away. Skyrim's burst doesn't want to deal with it at all. Oh, Fumu tried to activate his own burst to get through it, but uh, didn't quite work out. And Sky Raisin's gonna be taking a lot of momentum out of this. Here comes the big combo by Sky Raisin. Going with the wake up slap. Oh, wait, what is this? What is this? Oh my god. Someone stop this man. Someone stop this man. Oh my god. And there you go. Sky Raisin taking a huge momentum shift and making it work out. I wonder if he's gonna be changing his character. I think he um more so swears with the Sidroy in this matchup against Ben Blaziken. Oh, we are gonna see character change, okay. Yep, here it comes Blaziken. Fumu just can't keep himself away from good old KFC. Try as he might. Here we go. Round two. Now this is a matchup that is a, a very, very interesting one. I'd always like to say it's a very vo uh, volatile matchup. Because both parties can just blow each other up. Just insane amount of damage. You can be seeing that here. Ooh, interesting cross-up idea by Fumu. But didn't quite work out. Skyrim's forward wide and very nice counter. It has a snag opportunities like that. Ooh, Shadows and that like this combo in. Ooh, this is gonna be some nice nice damage here from Skyers and, and a, a nice opportunity. Ooh, a Fumu able to get away from the wall, however. And use this crow gunk. Interesting, interesting choice right there. Um so I know Poison can have a little bit of trouble getting um relieving himself of pressure. And Crow Gunk can definitely help with that because it just creates a little pool of area that Skyers really doesn't want to be in, so I think it's a high damage character like Blaziken. Fumu doesn't have to waste a little bit of health, but he wasn't able to get in a, a situation. Oh, just working through with um, Sky Raisin's guard. Now, go ahead and pop first. A nasty situation for Sky Raisin right now. Fumu just going and pop the first. Sky Raisin is still shielding, but Fumu's going to be able to run away, store a little bit of HP. Oh, but Sky Raisin able to go through it with his counterattack. 
A little bit of a risky price. Uh, Fumu not quite able to get his Fire Blitz going to pierce it. Both players just trying to take something out from each other. So they're able to get the counter. It's good, it's gonna build himself a lot of synergy. There's some nice damage from the grab. Krogunk coming out to play. Not quite in the range for Krogunk, but guys have to be very careful. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a combo off of it, but not quite. Oh, well, this is a crit submission. Oh, that's a lot of damage. However, submission does do less damage when in field. It's a note for anyone. Ooh, just not able to get the um, pierce in time. Foot move is in really silly sour situation right now. Oh, just raw burst. Is it going to work? Oh, not quite, but it is going to get him out of the corner, which is almost as useful. Oh, I'm not quite able to get a combo off of it, but here's his own combo. Oh, it doesn't go for Heat Wave. He tries to go for raw damage, but not quite able to finish it. See, just need one more hit, and there we go. The homing attack there. The snag around. It's gonna be very, very good. Sky so is sitting on his burst. He's gonna be able to activate that. And also has uh, Frog Gear going. Must be running a special cheer, I believe. Alright, so he's able to clash with that. Nice um 6x there to get out of the uh fire blitz. That was a nice option. Man, Sky isn't just putting out so much damage on the board already. Boom just has a long, long road to go. If he wants to be able to bring this back. And... Yep, there we go. Alright, so that was a very, 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 very dominating last round right there by Sky Ryzen. Boom is unfortunately going to be knocked into the loser side there. But Sky Ryzen making a nice, nice showing.